Thank you for calling my way. This call and your every thought may be mine for quality and control purposes. God 2.0 makes every decision you make more easy to justify than ever before. Have you tried God 2.0, the most moral operating system in the world? Hello, this is Bubba. What is the model number of your computer? It's the Joshua 620 with Jericho surround sound. It's really confusing and kind of a little creepy. Oh, that's not a bug, sir. That's a design feature of God 2.0 Christian Apologist Edition with integrated evil inside. What seems to be the problem? It seems to be logically inconsistent and pretty much bloodthirsty. When I boot it up, a message pops up that I'm supposed to raise an army, cut the end of my penis off with a knife, and then go chop up my neighbor and his wife and kids with a sword. That's perfectly normal, sir. What? That's horrible. Not at all, sir. That's part of the integrated evil package. When God 1.0 was upgraded, we wanted to present a warmer, more friendly environment to the user, but the original source code was already perfect in every way. So we included some filters that made it possible for users to have complete freedom to do whatever they wanted to do, combined with a warmer, more enjoyable experience. But that pop-up message is barbaric. Not really, sir. It's just a reminder that your personal computer is perfect in every way, even if you don't understand the data output. You've probably been browsing skeptical websites online and picked something up. If God 2.0 is perfect in every way, how is it even vulnerable to picking something up? Well, it isn't, but you are. You just aren't perfect enough to understand your PC. I'm so confused. Everyone is. That was the entire point of upgrading to God 2.0. God 1.0 was very simple and easy to understand, but the market really started to move away from blind obedience and the as I command line interface. And there was a real market for the free will aspect, so we integrated evil into the system to make God 2.0 more difficult to understand. In fact, we can't explain it ourselves. Wait, you don't know how your own operating system works? Sure we do, and we've included easy-to-follow step-by-step instructions so that you can too. All you have to do is accept that you will never understand your computer. If I don't understand it, how can I ever get anything useful done with it? Can't I just downgrade my system to God 1.0? No, sorry, that isn't allowed. You'll just have to get used to the new interface. But it's messed up. It's telling me to chop my neighbor up with a sword. I like my neighbor. No, sir. God 2.0 is perfect in every way. If you get a prompt like that, you should pay close attention to it. But this is just wrong. Of course it is. You just need to understand that you're supposed to follow the prompts exactly and do whatever they tell you to do. But my computer is telling me to chop up my neighbor and move into his house. I'm even supposed to chop up the baby kitten. Yes, sir, and that would be completely wrong. But it's insane. None of this makes any sense at all. Yes, sir. You just aren't interpreting the prompt correctly. How the heck am I supposed to interpret this, then? You just need to accept that God 2.0 is perfect, but that you're never going to understand it. If I can't understand it, what the heck good is it? I see your problem, sir. I'm afraid we're going to have to bring you in for service. Your moral apologetics DLL has probably become corrupted by those skeptical websites. Well, I have the box that it came in. I'll box it up and take it back. Oh, no, sir. 
There's nothing wrong with your system. You need servicing, not your system. We, we just need to get you thinking right. But why is it that the system was even designed this way? To give you free will. To be able to choose evil by ignoring your God 2.0. But I don't want evil on my computer, and I don't want this prompt showing up when I boot. Sir, you should never choose evil. That's just evil. But you said I had to follow the prompts. But that's evil, and it isn't even free will. Yes, sir. You just don't understand how to use your system. None of this makes any sense. I think I'm just going to box this thing back up and take it back to the store. This thing is worse than my Windows system ever was. Well, sir, there is a substantial penalty for returns. Like what? Well, to start with, stigmatization and ridicule. And depending upon local laws, you may be subject to death. Then you'll be tortured for eternity. Holy shit! That's almost as bad as trying to return a Microsoft product. I didn't even buy this for myself. My parents picked it up for me for my birthday. Well, sir, that doesn't matter. I suggest you consider the alternative option covered under your service agreement. Show up to God 2.0 orientation seminars every weekend and try to sell it to as many other people as you can. If you do that, you can just keep your system in the closet and let it collect dust if you like. Yeah, thanks. If I do that, then I can learn how to understand God 2.0 and no killing and torture, right? No, sir. No matter how many seminars you attend, you'll never be able to say you really understand God 2.0, and you're going to die anyway. And since you'll never be perfect, you will be tortured for all eternity unless you follow the directions God 2.0 has given you. This is beginning to sound more like Microsoft every minute. Excellent, sir. Glad to clear that up for you. Can I assist you with anything else today? Yeah, I guess I need to download that Jesus patch and get the new rapture clock. Wise choice, sir. I'll transfer you to sales. Bless you for choosing God 2.0, sir. Have a good day. Worried about losing data? MyWay Storage Solutions keep permanent record of everything you do, even if you're just thinking about it.